Okay, so good morning once again, grade 6. Teacher Rex here, and I hope you're ready to learn some new lessons for today. Okay, so let's proceed. Before we start our day, let us have first our morning prayer. So precious and loving Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us a new life and the opportunity to acquire new knowledge this week. I also thank you, Lord, for the provisions that each of us receive every day. We acknowledge you, Lord, as our provider, our healer, and our protector. We trust only you, Lord, for the healing and safety of our land. We trust all our works, our travels, and our safety every day. So in the name of your precious Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. Okay? So our Bible verse for the week was taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 1, which says, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. So the, this verse tells us to be obedient and to follow God's commandments and laws. Okay, so let's proceed. As a sort of review, last time you have learned about the elements of a poem. So I hope you've watched our video regarding the elements of a poem. So what are the different elements of a poem? A persona, line, stanza, rhyme, and the figures of speech. Okay, so today we will learn about the modals. So modals, so a modal is a type of auxiliary, uh, or when we say auxiliary, helping verb that is used to express ability, possibility, permission, or obligation. Okay, so let's proceed. So the types of modals that is used so types, there are types of modals that is used to express ability, permission, advice, obligation, and possibility. So we will tackle, tackle this later on. So the first, to express ability, a modal, <coughs> a modal verb nga, can and could. Okay, for example, gamito na sa sentence, David can speak three languages. So the ability of David is he can speak three languages. Next, he could speak fluent French when he was five. So, a bit, so <clears throat> the second sentence also expresses the avail ability. Okay, so, in gamit ng modal verb is ang could. Next, next ng modal verb na ginagamit for to express permission is ang can, could, and may. For example, can I sit in the chair, please? Next, could I open the window? Next, may I borrow your dictionary? Okay, next, so to express naman advice or to give advice, the modal verb that we are going to use is should. So for example, you should visit your dentist at least twice a year and you should try to lose weight. Okay, so nag follow lang. So the next modal na ginagamit to express obligation is modal verb nga must and have to. So naga ano sa naga? Stress out sang obligation. Okay, so the example number one, I must memorize all these rules about tenses. So ang gamit ng verb is very good, must. Okay, number two, you have to take off your shoes before you get into the house. Okay, so what is the verb ng gamit ah, modal? Very good, ang have to. Okay, so let's proceed with the last. To express the possibility, O kung sa aton pa, posibilidad. So, ang modal verb ng gamiton ta sa possibility is ang might, may, could, and can. So, for example, it looks nice, but it might be very expensive. So, a thing looks nice, but the possibility is, because it looks nice, it might be very expensive. Okay, so very good. Next sentence, for example, is Rico may be coming to see us. Tomorrow, so Rico may have a possibility or may have a chance to see us tomorrow. So this this expresses possibility. Kung may chance si Rico kung magkita na kita sa buwas, may chance pa lang ah. Okay. So as a summary for our lesson for today, we have learned about the modals, which is ano gani? which is an auxiliary or helping verb to express ability, permission, advice, 
obligation and possibility. So, gina-remind ko lang ulit guys, pwede nyo ma- Rewind ang aton nga video kag pwede niya sa ma-pause if ever nga there's something nga uh, nagabagal sa inyo nga mind o kung may wala ka mo na intindihan o kung, kung may gusto ka mo nga lang taon pabalik pwede lang gid okay so let's proceed with your activity in your book answer page 36 and 37 okay so i hope you understand our lesson so gina ano talaga ka mo nga uh, nga lang taon nyo gilang video kag pwede nyo lang mabalik ini nga video kag ma-pause okay so thank you good and thank you everyone and god bless